Hi, I'm Margot and I just wanted to talk to you about my favourite lip products of the moment. Um, I'm a bit of a lip product junkie. I buy lip balms all the time. Um, I buy lip glosses all the time. I have so many lipsticks, it's unreal. And uh, I never wear them. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what it is about lip products. They just make me happy. When I'm feeling a bit down, I buy. I buy makeup and usually it's lip products because I... If there's one feature that I like about myself, it is my lips. And so, I don't know, I guess I just like to invest in products to make them prettier. Um, now, I have a few, like, phone, sorry. Um, I have a few um, favourites. And um, so I'm just going to talk to you about them. Um, right now, it's, like, really pretty weather outside, like, beautiful, sunny and warm for the season and it's lovely it feels really springy and so I'm in a spring mood and I think that reflects with my like favorite uh, lipsticks at the moment um, uh, the first one is actually a surprise for me because I thought that I wouldn't like it um, it is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Professional Universal Lip Glow which is like a translucent pinky orange tube it is incredibly comfortable to wear um it's not overly moisturizing which is my only like it's only downfall i'd say but it doesn't really have a scent which is nice and it's quite comfortable to wear you can build it up and it just gives the most flattering color ever um it is it just adapts to like your natural lip colour and makes it like just nicer. Um, I wore this, I bought it back in September when I went to Italy in the airport <laughs> and um, I wore it when I got back and my mum just told me, wow, whatever you are wearing, it's really pretty, it really suits you and it was this and it really does give like a really, really flattering colour. Um, I can only recommend it. I don't like L'Oreal products normally, especially their lip products. I don't know why. I've never liked their lipsticks, but I was really intrigued and I wanted to try it. And I think it's really worth it. And it's definitely one of the colours that I wear the most often. I always have it in my bag, and so when I think about it, I'll just whip it out and put it on. And it's really easy to wear. <laughs> um, now, the second one is... A very expensive product it's crazy I felt so ashamed with myself for buying it in the first place because it was so expensive and it is the Tom Ford blush nude um, it, it comes in a beautiful packaging um, Tom Ford lipsticks are my favorite I have two and I'm thinking of buying another one the the only thing is the price they're so expensive it's crazy but they are definitely my favourite, favourite, favourite lipstick in the world. So the packaging is beautiful. Um, the colour of this one is really nice. It's a nude, a nude colour. The scent, it smells divine. It smells like white chocolate and vanilla. It just, it's so yummy. And the feel on the lips is incredible. It felt, it feels luxurious. It feels expensive, I think. Um, it's really moisturizing it sits on my lips really nicely and it looks incredibly natural I have naturally pigmented lips which means that usually I can't get away with nude colors but this one it just blends into my natural lips and it doesn't make me look washed out it it's really nice I love it <laughs> um, and it smells so good um, and it wears on me, I'd say it wears between five and six hours, which is really incredible. I have um, Blush Nude, which is a nude colour, and then I also have Spanish Pink, which is kind of a light, pinky, corally colour. Um, very pretty, both of them, and I think I want to get another one. <laughs> I just have to get to, you know, I, I want to find like a springy colour and then also the cash to actually spend on such... An expensive li lipstick. Um, now another one that I really have been liking lately is Lancôme Le French Touch in uh, Gourmand Colour Bare Lip Sensation in 
316 soft marshmallow. Now I got this at first because I loved the packaging. It's so pretty. And the colour is so springy. Um, it's like this bright pink and it doesn't really smell of anything. Um, it goes on and it's lovely on like the sensation on the lips is really nice. It's very soft, it glides on, it's quite moisturising and it gives a beautiful pink colour to the lips. It's definitely not as bright as it comes out in the tube and it just feels so nice, so comfortable and it wears for like quite a long time. I'd say about four or five hours on me so that's really good and it just it's lovely I love it and it looks it looks good um, so if you have the opportunity I'd say try them because they were like three colors I think and it's like this limited edition and they're just like so love they're so nice I've been really liking Lancome products lately which is crazy because I never used to so I'm really surprised um, now the two last lipsticks are um, the Paul and Joe lipstick N in number 20, um, the packaging comes like this, and this one is a pinky brown colour. These lipsticks are so comfortable. Um, I feel that Paul and Joe lipsticks, well products in general, are quite underrated. They kind of go under the radar, really. You don't see a lot of talk about them. You don't see a lot of videos, like, talking about these products. And I absolutely adore them. Um, they are... They don't smell of anything either. <laughs> um, they are so comfortable. They glide on. They are so smooth on the lips. They're moisturising. They last forever. And they come in a really nice range of colours. Um... They're a little expensive, but I don't know, I really, I really like them and I, I don't know, I, I have less problems paying a little more for lip products than I have for other products, just because I know that I like my lips, so I know that I'll, I will wear them and I know that I want something nice on my lips, so, and yeah, so this one is really nice. And then, today, I was in town and I decided to go past this shop, uh, which is really nice, um, if you're in the Winchester area. It's called the Hambledon, and it's a very nice shop. Um, it carries um, Paul and Joe lip um, makeup, and I got the Paul and Joe lipstick C in number 175. Just taking it out of the box. I'm wearing it on my lips right now and the packaging oh no number 77 my bad i don't know oh yeah 77 okay forget about 175 something else um number 77 and look at the packaging it is so pretty and the color is like this pinky color pinky coral it comes off more pink in the camera but it's like a pinky corally Color, and it has little cat paws so pretty and like the other um, Paul and Joe lipstick it glides on it's so comfortable um, I don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my lips but it looks so so pretty so I can already feel that it's going to be a spring favorite I think um, and the packaging is just like so cute um, <laughs> So, yeah, I've been really, really liking the Paul and Joe lipsticks. Um, all of these lipsticks are, like, definitely favourites, but the Paul and Joe, I think, are really... They don't get enough recognition, so if you have the opportunity to try Paul and Joe products, I would definitely go for it, because they're so nice. <laughs> um, I hope that this was, like, an enjoyable video to watch, and that it will give you, like, ideas in like trying different products and I will see you some other time. Bye!